Hello everybody and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the steel segment here at Trimble. And today I want to introduce a new feature that's available in Tackle Structures version 2021 called the Batch Editor. And what this tool allows you to do is to quickly copy modifications that you've made to an assembly and copy that to other identical assemblies that have the same position number or to very similar but differently numbered assemblies that are in your model. So the goal of this is to reduce the amount of repetitive work in situations where you need to edit very similar assemblies by modifying the object geometry or by changing the part properties. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. If you go to the Edit tab on your ribbon, you'll see this new command called Batch Editor. So I'll go ahead and launch that. And if I zoom in here to the model, let's just go ahead and take a look at this assembly right here. I just have a beam, it's just framing into either side of the columns. We'll just use a real simple example for this first introduction. And what I'll do is with that selected, I'll go ahead and select that as my source assembly. And then Tecla will scan through and find all the other identical assemblies that have the same piece mark. So you can see here that I have a quantity of four. As I click on these, they will highlight. If I choose this zoom to selected, it will just zoom me to the other areas. You can see that they're scattered throughout the model. And you'll notice here that whatever changes that I make to this source assembly, I can then copy to the other three remaining assemblies. And here I have check boxes. So if for some reason I don't want to copy the changes to one of these assemblies, I can just simply deselect it and then the change won't be applied to that assembly. And then of course, whatever I have selected, when I click copy, it will copy all the modifications to those assemblies. As I mentioned before, this tool will identify the identical assemblies and you can see that it's pre-populated the list and found them for me. If you do have an assembly that's a different piece mark but very similar, you can go ahead and click add and add that to this portion of the UI here and then those changes will also be copied to that assembly. So this comes in really handy if you have things that are numbered and they have different assembly marks and you're not sure why, you can choose the source assembly, add the other custom target assembly, and then make the modifications to combine those numbers. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. Just real simple here, I'll open up the properties for these connections and we'll just make a simple modification where we go from three bolts down to two. I'll go ahead and click modify that will update that specific assembly. And now when I come down here and click copy, it will then copy those changes that I've made to the component to those other assemblies. So if I click on those, you can see there's two bolts, two bolts, two bolts, and it's modified that connection component. So now when I come in and run my numbering, the critical thing is we wanna make sure that these piece marks remain the same. So I still have a quantity of four. This is assembly B41. And then even if I come down here and just open up the connection properties, we can just verify that it did modify that connection the way that we did in our source assembly. Now the example that I just showed is using components. It doesn't have to be changes just made to the components. These could be like exploded or just manual modifications that you're making to the assemblies. I'll show an example of that here in a minute. Before I do that, I do also want to point out the settings. There's three setting options here, depending upon your unique modeling scenarios. These are documented in the Tecla user assistant. So I'd invite you to go read what these specific settings do over there. Uh, for now, I'll just keep all three of these checked and move on to this next example. So the next example here um, are these handrails. So I have a quantity of 12. So let me go ahead and uh, I'll just add those here to my source assembly. So you can see I have 12 identical ones. They make the perimeter around this little structure here. And I need to make some changes. As I come in here and click, you can see that these are just individual objects. Um, they've been exploded. If they were modeled with a component before, I'm not sure if they were, this is a great customer example that was shared with me. And let's say that I need to come in and make changes to this specific assembly. So let's just first make some changes here to the base plate. So I'll just go ahead and make some modifications here. So right now it's five eighths by five and a half. Let's modify that to six. I'll also change the class just to make that easy to see. Um, just so you can see that change there in the model. 
Uh, we can also come in and modify the bolts here. So let's go ahead and select those. We could bump those up to be a bigger size. Uh, we could change the spacing to be five and a half and modify. All right. So I'm showing modifications. We could delete stuff. We could add stuff to the assembly. All of that will still copy across. So just make whatever changes you need to the assembly. And when you're done with that, you select the target assemblies that you want to copy those changes to. So in this case, I'm going to copy that to 11 other assemblies. I'll go ahead and click copy. You can see the progress happening here where it's copying it to the other assemblies. And then now as I zoom in and look at these, you can see here the changes have been made. But now what I need to do is run my numbering, make sure the piece marks remain the same. And once the numbering is complete, you can see that I still have a quantity of 12 HR1 and all of the changes that I've been made have been carried forward to each assembly. So this is a great efficiency tool to make the changes that you need to to one assembly. Tech will automatically identify the other identical assemblies and populate the list. If you need to add additional ones to the list that are very similar and copy the changes to that, you have the flexibility to do that. And hopefully this will save a lot of time on repetitive work and making changes, especially once drawings have been created and you want to really make sure that numbering and piece marks don't change inadvertently and really just kind of bog down the work um, that can sometimes happen on projects. So as mentioned before, this is available in Tackle Structures version 2021. This is called the Batch Editor. As always, we welcome your feedback and we hope you enjoy this new development.